Dear students, I welcome all of you in the session of Traffic Engineering and Management. So, from last few sessions, we have been discussing about uh, the importance of traffic signal. See, we have learned that what is the meaning of fixed traffic signal, what is the meaning of actuated traffic signal. Now, in this session, we'll resume the study that we have left in the last session. So we are discussing the module of design of intersection. The topics that we are going to cover in this particular session is coordinated control of signals. See, this is one of the most important topics because uh, in the old syllabus, the question was asked number of times as far as GTU external exams are concerned. Coordinated signal system on a road network of an area is very complex system. As the name suggests, it requires the coordination. Now we will learn that the coordination between which entities is required in order to establish the coordinated control signals. The area traffic control signal with coordinated signal network is to be implemented with the help of advanced technology that means advanced technology is required in order to establish the coordinated control signal now let us learn the need for coordinated control system that what is the need why it is required the need for coordinated control of signal arises on the main traffic rule why main traffic rule when it is desirable to reduce the delays and avoid the main traffic from having to stop at every junction means at major traffic routes, we have to reduce the delay of vehicles and we have to avoid main traffic from having to stop at every junction. When a signal indicates a stop at the junction, a queue of vehicle is formed behind the stop line. We all know that whenever red signal appears, all the vehicles are stopped at particular location. And when it changes to green, the vehicle start moving in the platoon. Platoon means they start move in a very wholesome amount. If this platoon is made to meet the green aspect of the next junction, no delay is caused. Mean, means what these statements are trying to say is that the signals, if the signals are placed in such a way that if, say, this is the road stretch. If this is the signal, this is the signal. If red signal appears over here and the same time red signal appears over here, then there will be the coordination between the vehicles that when this will be the green one, this will also be the green one. So the vehicle will have the continuous movement of platoon and they will not have to stop after proceeding, proceeding from this moment to stop at this junction. There will be complete uh, resumed movement of the vehicle. So, this is what coordinated signal is all about. The principle of linking the adjacent signal so as to secure the maximum benefit to the flow of traffic is called as coordinated control of signal. Now, this comes as the definition that what is the definition of coordinated control of signal. So, the principle of linking adjacent signal so as to secure maximum benefit to the flow of traffic is called as coordinated control signal. My maximum benefit should be provided in the linking of adjacent signal that is called as coordinated control of signal. Let us learn about the objectives of coordinated signal. The first objective is to pass the maximum amount of traffic without enforced halt. So we have already discussed that there will be uh, the coordination between if this is the green one this is also green one so the vehicle will have no enforced halt no undesirable stops second is to have the minimum overall delay to the traffic streams both in the main as well as the side road and third objective is to prevent the queue of the vehicle at one intersection from extending and reaching the next intersection let me revise this, revise it once again for you friends, that there are objectives for coordinated traffic control. The first objective is that it should provide it to pass the maximum amount of traffic without enforced halt. It should have minimum overlay delay, overall delay to the traffic streams, both in the main and side roads. 
and the third one is to the third objective is to prevent the queue of vehicle at one intersection from extending and reaching to the next intersection so this was about the objectives there are four basic types of this kind of coordinated signal system first one is called as simultaneous system second one is called as alternate system third one is called as simple progressive system and fourth one is called as flexible progressive system let me repeat it once again for you guys first one is called as simultaneous system second one is called as alternate system third one is called as simple progressive system and last one is called as flexible progressive system now the simultaneous is also called as synchronized system alternate is also called as limited progressive system let us learn all these things one by one first one is about the simultaneous system that is also called as synchronized system so under this system what happens is all the signals along the given street always display the same indication as i have already discussed that if this is the green one then this will also be the green one the division of the cycle time is same at all the intersection and a master control is employed to keep the series of signal in step so this is simultaneous system what do you, what is the another meaning another meaning of simultaneous it the another name is synchronized system because all the signals are in synchronization with each other at each junction that means all the signal along the particular streets give the same indication and the same time same indication at the same time display is also displaying the same particular signal the division of the cycle time is also same and the master controller employed keep the series of signal in step then see uh, each thing in the world has certain pros and cons so our topic is also having certain cons cons means disadvantages what are the disadvantages this kind of systems are not conductive to give continuous movement of all vehicles the overall speed is reduced because it may happen that if vehicle has crossed this particular location this is having green but until it reaches to this section if this is road this particular signal turns to red this will also turn to red so overall the spill will be reduced and delay will be caused now because of the division of the cycle time is same at all the intersection inefficiency is inevitable we cannot avoid inefficiency that is caused at certain intersection now the simultaneous stoppage of a continuous line of traffic at all intersection often results in difficulty for the side street vehicles in turning into or crossing to the main side street this was all about the simultaneous signal system let us discuss about another coordinated signal type that is called as alternate the name of the alternate system is also called as limited progressive system and under this system consecutive signal installations along the given road shows contrary indication means if this is the red signal then at the same time that will be the green one so that will be the contrary intersection contrary directions displaying on the particular signal what it will do it will permit the vehicle to travel on one block in half of the cycle cycle time this system operates efficiently where the blocks are of equal length means if this is the the road length is divided equally between the blocks if this is the red this will be the green if this is the green this will be the red and this is called as alternate or limited progressive system that is a part of coordinated signal system now another thing that we need to understand about this thing is that it also brings about a certain measure of speed control because speeding drivers are stopped at each signal because if the speed is higher they will have to stop see certain disadvantages are there of this particular system disadvantages involve the green time for both the main and side street have to substantially equal and it results in inefficiency at most of the intersection <coughs> sorry then the second point of disadvantage is that in situation where the block length are unequal the system will not be well suited so it is only suitable if the block length are equal we have already discussed that and third is about the adjustment that the adjustment are quite difficult if the traffic conditions are changing 
so this was all about the limited progressive type of coordinator signal these are the disadvantages disadvantages involved it is not conductive the overall speed is often reduced and because of the division of the cycle time at the same time all the intersection inefficiency if efficiency is inevitable and the last is about simple progressive system in this system the signals controlling a street give green indication according to the predetermined schedule and it permits the continuous operation of group vehicle along the street at a planned rate of speed which may vary at the different part of the system let us discuss about flexible progressive system at, as the name suggests in this system it it is possible at each intersection automatically to vary the following things first is we can vary the cycle time and division at each signaling depending upon the time we can vary the offset and due to that we can enable two or more completely different plan and it is also possible to introduce the flashing or shut downing of the particular signal during the off peak hours so this was all about the simple and flexible progressive system up till now we have discussed about the simple progressive system flexible progressive system then the disadvantages of alternative system that is also called as limited progressive system all these are the part of coordinated signal systems then we have already discussed about the simultaneous system we have learned that there are four basic types of coordinated signal first is called as simultaneous or synchronized second is called as alternate or limited progressive third one is called as simple progressive and fourth one is called as flexible progressive we have already learned about the objective of coordinated signal and then we have discussed about what is coordinated signal and what are the particular need of this kind of coordinated signal i hope you have understood the concepts thoroughly thank you so much